Prince Harry, Journey to Invictus. We return now to Lisa Laflamme. Welcome back to our rooftop in London, overlooking one of the most recognizable skylines in the world, as symbolic as the royal family itself, a family that's been part of the Canadian fabric forever. For Prince Harry, having the Invictus Games come to Canada this year is on some level like going back to the beginning. Officially, His Royal Highness Prince Henry of Wales has visited Canada just a handful of times. This is Canada. Everything happens on ice, doesn't it? <laughs> Although there have been more than a few trips off the radar, mostly to Toronto, the prince has asked for privacy. His first visit back in 1991 was the last his parents made together to Canada. Their marriage was essentially over by then. Diana, who decided to bring the boys at the last minute, has also asked officials to schedule a visit to Niagara Falls. I, I don't know how old it was. I can't even remember how old no, I was. I was. Six, seven. I was very, very... Very cute. Very <laughs> cute. <laughs> then. That's, thanks, Lisa. That's really kind. Those first visits to Canada, uh, the... Do you remember anything? I do. I remember oh. the public ones, but I also remember, remember the private ones as well and you know the there was amazing experiences that I've had in Canada and I've never even had a chance to, to properly explore it um, you know when you when you do these official tours it's it is all work suit ties barriers all that kind of stuff. I do remember lots and lots of screaming screaming young people let's say girls and boys and it was it was it was it was quite daunting at that age But I remember the photographs of me there, little sort of little ginger pudding bowl haircut and walking around like a little blazer with little brass buttons and going around. It was one of the first overseas engagements that I'd ever done, I think. And it was completely overwhelming. The picture you know? I remember is is a I think you're at Niagara Falls. One thing I will always, always, you know, hold close to, to my heart is that is that love that Canada has for, for the Queen and for, and, and for her family as well, and, and hopefully for the UK, because the UK absolutely adores, adores Canada and everything that you guys have to offer. So I think there's a, there's a really special bond there. It's a beautiful relationship, and, and, and long may it last. For the games and the, the passion Canadians have, what are your expectations? Um, my expectations, I have, I, have, I have no expectations. I hope that it's, I hope that Toronto ends up being even better than London and Orlando, of course. Oh yeah, I don't have any doubt on that front. That's, no, a, that's no. a definite. And as I said, it's no, it's no pressure on the Canadians, but I'd like to give them the responsibility because I know that they will buy tickets because the Canadians have always supported their armed forces. And Canada's 150th birthday mm -hmm. year and the centenary of Vimy as well, it, the timing is right. So I would urge people to, to take this opportunity to bring your family, bring your friends, bring your kids and come and be part of something really, really special because you literally have the opportunity as an audience, as we do, and I've, see, I've, you know, I've seen plenty of it, you sit there, you may well have a tear coming, 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 rolling down your face, but you will have a chance to be part of something really special and you will see lives being changed on the sports field or in the pool or wherever it be. And the strength of the human spirit shown on that field. So it's, it's an opportunity that I certainly would encourage everybody to make sure that they don't miss. And the most amazing thing is it's unbelievably competitive sport. These, you know, these guys are, you know, they've all, They don't want sympathy. It's military training. They don't want mm. sympathy. These people have been trained to, no matter what, push through everything. And they've all appreciated that they've got a second chance in life and they're sure as hell going to make the most of it. So this journey to Invictus for Prince Harry and most importantly for the men and women of the military, broken but not beaten, has become another layer in the post-war battle for mental health. And as Harry, who lost his mother as a 12-year-old boy, learned the hard way, the path is not straightforward, but the most rewarding ones never are. Good night from London. Hello, Mr. Clay. Nice to meet you. Maria. Hello, nice to meet you. Abu. 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 Abu.
and Musa. You got so many children. Yeah, yeah I got five. Yeah. Thank you. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you get in the shot. It'll be gold. Get on. Stefan says it's great. It's Good great. answer. He's our Steven Spielberg. Have you ever had a Tim Hortons? The Tim Hortons. Okay, there's my answer. <laughs> I love that video that you did the last year with your yeah. grandmother. <laughs> We're too oh, close. that's so that good. Cool. Yeah, don't do that every year. You told us to bring it at the Invictus Games. Careful what you wish for. Boom. Oh, really? Please. Boom. How do you beat that? Because it was so awesome. We've got an idea to do something, but it's um, I can't ask her to, to part. Oh, that really was the top. Trump, really. <laughs>